of the way things ended off in the season 5 finale for Miraculous Ladybug, I found myself left with even more questions about what direction the story will be taking from here on out. And so in today's video, I wanted to discuss everything that I would like to see happen in season 6, with a fun twist in that I've created a season 6 bingo card featuring not just what I want to see happen next season, but as well as what you guys shared with me in the comments on my recent community post, and even over on my Instagram and Discord. This way, as season 6 is rolling out, we can always look back to our bingo card we created together and see what does and doesn't happen. Don't worry if you didn't share your thoughts for the bingo card though, as I purposely left a few spots open so that once this video is up, I can go through the comments and fill in the final blank spots with your guys' ideas. And speaking about my Discord, we are hosting an awesome summer event there right now with fun prizes to be won, activities, watch parties, and more, so if you haven't already joined, it'll be linked in the description of this video. Now, let's get into it. Starting off with our first bingo slot, a new season 6 intro. This is something I hope we get for this new season and I think it's very likely to happen considering the new animation style will be welcoming and main antagonist. This makes me wonder if we'll also be getting a new intro song, we shall see. Tomoe's backstory is something I thought we would at least have gotten a tease at in season 5 and after watching the finale, I honestly thought her character would just be brushed off to the side but after seeing our first ever season 6 trailer recently, I I am so excited and hopeful that we'll be getting to see her play a much larger role next season and hopefully learn more about her past and her plans now that Gabriel is no longer in the picture. Plus, I'm also curious if one, she knows where her laptop went and two, if she's on to Lila aka Cerise at all. Next up, Adrian learning the truth. This is a big one and a huge reason why the finale was as disappointing as it was. We got the conclusion to the aggressed arc and yet somehow it excluded our boy Adrian entirely. Even after everything, Adrian was only fed lies and I think we all know at this point that secrets do not work in Miraculous. Whether he finds out that he's a senti monster, or more importantly, about the person his father truly was, I hope he gets the answers this season, even if it means problems between him and Marinette slash Ladybug, because I think we're already sensing the tension to come between them, which is why one of the highly requested slots for our season 6 bingo was for Adrian Adrian at drama to happen, or possibly even see the two break up. Now, I'll be totally honest, do I love a little bit of drama and tension in Miraculous? Yes, but I for one know I will not be able to process Adrian and Marinette finally getting closer with each other, only for them to break up this season, which at this point almost feels like the inevitable with everything Marinette's keeping from him and everything Lila could tell him. However, the only exception to this chaos, for me, would be some Lady Noir our development. Call me biased, I am. Call me delusional, I am. But I have literally saved a slot just for Lady Noir development and I will take crumbs. Moving on. Shadybug and Claw Noir making an appearance. Now I know they go by new names as does Lila, but just so we don't get them confused, I will be referring to them with their original names and I also think there's a high possibility we'll get to see them next season. Not only did they impact our characters and their looks going into the new season, but it even feels like they set up season 6 and the whole idea of Lila working with the Supreme. And speaking about the Supreme, while we all have our guesses on who that may be in the other verse, the most popular vote being Master Fu, having that reveal would be incredibly exciting. Because I don't know about you all, but after watching the Shady Bug and Claw Noir special, my interest and love for Miraculous came back so quickly because of how intriguing this new verse was. That being said, if you haven't already seen my analysis video on the season 5 finale, in it I talked about every Thing, but specifically my thoughts on what happened to Lila during her final moments in the episode. And since we've yet to get a follow up on that, I've listed it in the card, but I'm really hoping we see her have some kind of involvement with the Supreme, as not only would that make for a fresh and interesting plot for this new arc, but also would hopefully bring back characters like Shadybug, Claw Noir, and Butterfly. On the topic of Lila, learning more about her backstory and motives is something we have to start seeing being included in this 
season and onwards, considering the much larger role she's now stepping into in the series. If you've been watching my videos for a while now, you may or may not know that despite everything Lila has done, she is one of the most interesting characters to me, so I am so excited to see her being involved regularly now in every episode, and while it'll be nerve-wracking to see what she stirs up next, it'll make for some awesome moments this season. And speaking about stirring up, Marinette being akumatized will forever be on my bingo card. I think at this point, half of the fandom has just accepted that it'll never happen, and then there's the other half, like me, who believes every season is the perfect opportunity for her to be akumatized, and I mean, how could you not believe that going into season 6? She has to keep the worst secret of all, not just from anyone, but the most important person to her, Adrian. She'll have Lila watching her like a hawk, probably threatening to tell Adrian the truth, and I can't imagine that Ladybug's relationship with Cat Noir will be any better, despite me cheering for Lady Noir development. The only person it seems that Marinette will be able to truly turn to this season is Natalie, which is both sad and exciting since this was teased at in the trailer for the Miraculous World London at the Edge of Time special, which is expected to be releasing around the same time as season 6, sometime later this year. On a lighter note though, having a Lady Noir and Mr. Bug appearance would be fun to see this season, especially in the new animation style, and I'm also dying to see what our boy Luca has learned since his training as a guardian. In the season 5 finale, we do see him as Viperion again, but I think he deserves to be playing an even bigger role than just being a part of the team, considering this new experience and knowledge he's obtained. It'll be interesting to see how Ladybug goes about the whole guardian role this season too, since we now have everyone as permanent miraculous holders. Since we'll also be getting the entire team back in action this season, I hope that means we'll be getting some much needed development with most of them, considering the lack of attention most of them got towards the end of season 4, when a handful of them were first introduced to us. Penalty Team is an episode that kind of blows my mind just because we finally get to see these last four characters getting their miraculouses, Ivan, Nathaniel, Mark, and Sabrina, but because all four of them were introduced in the same episode, none of them were able to get their own transformations or really give us a reason to be excited over them other than that we were waiting for them to get miraculouses. So that's why we have new transformations on the card, and not only can that go for those heroes, but even for Ladybug and Cat Noir. Unfortunately, Cat Noir slash Adrian always seems to be getting left out in one way or another, and one of those ways being that he's been overdue for a power upgrade for seasons now. A video topic that my guardians aka channel members voted for next was a theory video on power upgrades this upcoming season, so stay tuned for that as I'll be going more in depth about my thoughts on that soon, and for now it's just another slot we have to hopefully check off in the future. Now I would just be happy with Cat Noir getting a power upgrade, but if we were to see him meeting a past Black Cat Miraculous user, just as Ladybug got to meet with a previous holder in season 5, I would be shocked. Adrian did receive his Quagatama, so hopefully that's something we'll go back to eventually, because this may just be how he'll finally be able to upgrade his powers and learn more about his Miraculous. On to our last two, the reveal and Chloe possibly changing. Honestly, I for once don't think the reveal will happen this season. I was so hopeful last season, and I think that's why at this point I'm just like, if it happens, it happens, if it doesn't, it doesn't, but I do think the reveal will be stretched out for as long as possible, and if we're already confirmed for up to a ninth season, then I really have no clue when we'll get to see it happen. Not to mention, I think this season's obstacles will be making it a lot harder than before, with Lila always being one step ahead of everyone else, and the secrets that are being kept from both Cat Noir and Adrian. There's a reason why they kept each other's identities a secret for so long, and as much as I want Adrian to learn the truth, we could just get another Cat Blanc or Ephemeral situation all over again, so if the reveal doesn't happen this season, I honestly won't be surprised. As for Chloe changing, this could even be considered less likely to happen than the reveal, but the only reason I think it would make sense for her to change, even if it's in the slightest, is because of how things concluded for her in season 5. She realized she lost. She couldn't bully Marinette anymore. Her mother, the one person she's ever wanted to love her, very strictly told her that she'd be taking control of her life again and that she wouldn't be off on some vacation. And when she goes to call Sabrina, her only friend at the time, or so she thought, she couldn't because she had lost her too. And that was a decision made by Sabrina, not Chloe. Consequently, she breaks down. And if she returns this season, I would hope we see her truly change, especially if she's going 
going into a new school where she has zero friends and matures enough to realize that those days of her bullying others are over. But I'm fully prepared for her to be the same way she's always been, if not worse, but it would be so much nicer to see her gradually trying to redeem herself again for a change if the writers would be willing to give her that. But as always, what do you guys think? We are just a few more months away from the release of season 6, and Thomas even went to say on his Twitter that he is enjoying season 6 more than season 5, which makes me hopeful that this season will be even more exciting, because I don't think season 5 was a bad season. A lot of interesting things happened, but there's also a lot of things that should've, could've, maybe would have happened last season that perhaps we'll get to see begin rolling out in this new season. Be sure to let me know your thoughts and theories down below and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the show you love. And an extra special thanks to my Celestial Guardian channel members, Libby, William, F.A., Amandine, Mustafa, and Simply Noah, and I'll see you all in the next one.